have a conversation with you. I mean, isn't that obvious? We're, we're having a problem communicating. Well, I don't have a problem communicating at the hospital. I don't have a problem communicating with my colleagues. Yeah, well, I'm not one of your colleagues. If that's what you think, then we've got a bigger problem than I thought. Well, you could make some time for us to catch up this week. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know. I said we're going to get together, but definitely within the next few days, okay? Good. Well, I'll hold you to it. It's a deal. Mate, what's going on there? Sorry? Oh, come on, mate. You haven't been able to take your eyes off her all night. If you get in the middle of Tasha and me, or Jesse and I... Gee, Josie, you're asking an awful lot of me. What do I get in return? Uh, see, I think I might need some form of encouragement to be keeping all these secrets of yours. You're blackmailing me. Two grand. Cash. Or Jesse and Tash find out everything. You're cool. You know we belong together. You and I forever and ever. Ten minute head start and you only just beat me. Yeah, I guess I'm not really pushing myself. No kidding. So you want to tell me what's on your mind? Or should I guess? Because I've been like this ever since I saw each other yesterday. Tasha, right? Yeah, yeah, right. I know you've been copying a bit of an ear bashing about the whole Robbie thing. We did get into a pretty serious conversation. Absolutely. So did you share with her the secrets of our success? Something like that. And? I told her it's all about communication and understanding. I mean, working through your problems, any mistakes that you made, rather than running away from them. That's all good advice. If you're really committed, there's no reason why you can't get over any obstacles. Right? Well, we've done all right so far. And I was not lost with the whole Tasha and Robbie thing. I mean, it's not like either of them cheated on each other. I think that's one thing a couple can't get through. I mean, look what happened to me and Leah. But that was her mistake, not mine. No, I would never, ever do that to you, baby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I know you love Tash, but you got to try and not let her problems get you down. I've just thought of another reason why we are absolutely perfect for each other. You are the only woman I've been able to get out of the bed in the morning to go for a run with me. Ah, things I do. Come on. What took you so long? Well, the hospital's not the school. It doesn't all end with the bell. Yeah, but you know I've got classes this morning and I needed you here to look after Pippa. It was a long night. Lynn. I'm here now. It's fine. Okay, can we not do this, please? She's just gone off to sleep. I've got a couple of free periods this afternoon, so I'll be home after lunch. Now that I've finally got you home, I don't know what I'll do. Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything now. You did, so now you have to tell me. Well, then it won't be a surprise. Oh, no, you need clothes. I'm out of wear. No. I love you. Oh, I Bye. Bye. Oh, a nice dinner at the Sands, perhaps. Thank you. Or oh, jewellery. Mm. Either way, I wish I had a handsome young man like Daniel buying me gifts. <laughs> How was it? Delicious, thank you. But if I have any more of those, I'm going to have to start coming to some of your classes. Oh, that sounds like a fair deal. I'll come down after work one day and we'll organise it. <laughs> that reminds me, um, can I put a notice up in here? What kind of notice? Um, shift worker, 23 seeks extra employment. Babysitting, Heimlich manoeuvres. Oh, Madge Wilkins had that done once, choked on a prune. I'm also mm. looking for share accommodation too, but once I've saved the bond. What are you going to do in the meantime? Thought I'd hire a caravan. Oh, lovely. We'll be neighbours. Really? Just jot down your details and I'll pass the word around, okay? Thank you. <laughs> yes, I've been living at the caravan park for years. Oh. A word of advice, don't take number one. It's a bit of a lemon. No, never. My numerologist says anything with a one in it means I'll be single forever. My lucky number's four. How much do I owe you? Oh, well, uh, where were you sitting again? Just over there. Table four! So do you really believe in all that? Yeah, there are signs everywhere. In conversation, in nature, you just have to look for them. See ya. Bye. Oh. 
Oh, I'll have to remember that. Mm. She's a lovely thing, that Zoe, but honestly, she took the year off a donkey. <laughs> See you, Colin. Yeah, bye. Damn it, I'm too late. Too late for what? To buy you a coffee. Oh, sorry, I'm running late for a funk class I'm supposed to be giving. Even better, you can work up an appetite and we can have that meal. Seeing as it's such a nice day, maybe I should put a picnic well, no, together. Stop. Well, maybe not. Uh, no, no, look. This is so funny. We're only just talking about signs, and aren't ladybirds meant to mean something? I don't know, are they? Yeah, something about good luck or something like that. Okay, don't look at me like that. I'm not crazy. Well, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> How about one if I meet you down the bay? It's a date. Josie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You, you don't seem fine. Well, if it's any help, my classes are a great way to get rid of stress. I wish it was that simple. Have you ever made a mistake? Plenty. No, a big mistake. Something that you would give anything to take back? Josie, if you talk to me, maybe I could help. I'm just being silly. You go to your class. I'll see you later. Well, um, if you change your mind. Between you and me, I'm glad she's not coming in today. Mm. Oh, Irene, after the way she snapped at me the other day and at poor Detective Baker. Oh, well, she's upset over Kane. Mm. Doesn't mean she has to take it out on everyone else. You'd think we were the ones who got Kane into trouble. I know, I know. Guilty until proven innocent, but you mark my words. No, 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 no. 